Hey, welcome uh, back. We're going to go over some results from week three. Week three. It's week three. So it's week two results in week three. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, because we're a little bit behind. Right? Okay. We need to see the results first. So you, why don't you start first? What do you want to talk about? What, right. what caught your attention? Uh, well, um, you know, coach at Canfield. So I was with Canfield this weekend. Saturday, uh, went 4-0 at the Holiday Duels. Had a win over Aurora, Dover, Kenston, then a big win over... Reynolds, PA, who's the returning uh, team state champions for the small division in PA. Yeah. Yep. Uh, it was a really good duel, 34-33, and uh, we pulled it out, and so that was exciting. Yeah, I thought some younger guys looked good. I thought Reinhardt looked good. I thought Couture looked good, although he's looked good early on, and I thought uh, Nick Crawford looked really good. Yeah. So did Capalco. Ethan's getting better. I, I, that's exciting. Big one for the program there for Coach Pitts. Um but let's let's move on to someone else. Let's talk about somebody else. What about that big hobble tournament? Big hobble tournament. Um, fifteen teams total, and I, I want to say half or over half were league teams. So, and Don Mancini says that the hobble tournament has the best um, hospitality. He does. I'd like to see. Ever been. I believe it. Somebody but, out there, a Beaver local fan, has to be out there. A mom or a kid that has a picture of that of that. Uh, I'd like to talk to somebody room. who's alliance. We got to talk to Shaw because he's been to West Branch, and he's oh, been yeah. to Beaver. Logan. Yeah, okay. So All he'll right. give us a. Well, let's have the Beaver fans out there. Let's have them send a snapshot of what this thing looks like so we can compare it. Yeah. All and right. Maybe for the duel tomorrow they could have a little hospitality group. Right? Yeah, just for us though. Yeah. Just maybe for the OWL coach's office. I like okay. That. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Uh, Fitch won, which shakes up your uh, power yeah, five. My power five. Kind of tried to ignore Fitch and Bird and. You know, they're making it tough on you. They are. Uh, Beaver was second. Alliance was third. Um, then other league teams, uh, Bourbon uh, took fifth. Salem took ninth. Poland, 11th. And then Southern Local took 13th. Okay. Um, and then EOWL guys. Why don't you that, just talk about the, the champions? Yeah. I mean? okay. Yeah, I'm not going to okay. get through everything. Okay. Right. The champions of EOWL guys, we had a 106, Colin Roberts from Fitch. Uh, 120, Cole McComas from Beaver Local. 26, uh, Gus Sutton took first. Um, 38, Skylar Curry did from Alliance. Uh, 145, Jared Wright from Beaver. Uh, 52, another Beaver uh, another Beaver guy, Bo Smith. 160, Mike Faree from Fitch. And then, uh, like we talked uh, with Coach uh, Mancini about Michael O'Hora, he took Big first. win and pin against Deuce. Huge. Um, That's going to start a battle, I yeah. think, too. So now things are really... Cloudy. Right. David, Ohoro, Deuce. That's going to be fun at least. Yeah, it's going to I hope they fun. all stay 82. Yeah, so. you too. And then heavyweight is uh, Leisure from uh, Alliance. Leisure. Okay. He all took right. first. So. All right. Hey, that's, that's solid. That, that tournament's grown. It's solid. It's really competitive. Uh, I, I noticed that Hallen wrestled at Hudson. Yes. Had two champs, right? Yep. Matlock at 220 and Julian at Heavy. Yes. Right? So what, what I have them here. Um, we had a couple other kids. Uh, that also fit. I think they, they ended up tenth out of twenty three teams, which is which is pretty respectable. Sure, uh, a solid holiday tournament. So Matlock down to two twenty. Julian, that's got to be a good workout partner situation too. Both yeah. of them guys um, have been around for a while. Uh, you want to go to North Canton? North Canton. Um, Louisville's there. Uh, I'm just gonna mention uh, Lotzenheiser, the one of six freshman. He won uh, that weight class, and he was actually O W. It was a very tough weight class. Um, and that, uh, to me, that was probably the toughest holiday tournament of the weekend, um, was North Canton. You got, uh, Wadsworth and CDCA and, yeah. and a lot of tough teams up there. So, um, that's obviously a huge win for him, um, especially as a freshman. So. Yeah, as a ninth grader, that's impressive getting OW as a ninth grader right, too. Right. Uh, hey, allow him to go out a tournament here and I, we got to talk about coach, uh, Haiti there at Liberty. Yeah, they get him on. second, second by a point and a half. Second by a point and a half. That's rough. Yeah. But you I think he went back. Because I know you've for been sure, in that situation. Sure. Yeah. You've done the math about six, seven times yeah. in this tournament. He knows ex I bet you if you ask Coach Haiti, if we get him on the show, he'll know exactly the decision he made. I'm sure somebody was two points away from a tech or a point away from a major. He'll know exactly what he would have needed in order to win that tournament. But I'm saying, do you think he went back through and made sure the scoring was correct? I've seen you do that before. Uh, I don't know. I could see him doing that. He's a pretty competitive guy. Yeah. I think, And I think that's kind of a little bit of a coming out there for Liberty. You know what I mean? Oh, that's huge. Uh, Finishing second had two champions, right? The 220 uh, Edmonds and then uh, Matt Lock at 60 had uh, two guys finish second and then eight overall placers. That's a great tournament yeah, for Liberty. It's a great tournament, and I think too. Then that's a good thing. You know, this is what we need. We get our our UWL teams out of the area, wrestling other places, and having a lot of success. So, 
uh, between Loudonville and then Pie Valley was second at their tournament. Yeah. Um, I think they ended up uh, they ended up losing to Nordonia. Right. It was that was a dual tournament though? I think. Yeah, it was yeah. a dual. Yeah. Dual tournament and Pie Valley. We we've talked about them a little bit earlier. They've right. got some really good individuals, but it sounds to me like they've got a, a pretty solid staff. They you know, do. Like, if, you, if if you look through their uh, state rankings stuff, they have quite a few kids actually. They they you know I can see them pushing. Three or four kids in the state this year down at D three. Yeah, and I don't even know the, exactly the field yet. You're better at that than I am, but I think just having a team deep enough to finish second in a dual meet uh, tournament uh, says a lot. Yeah. Uh, anything else for results from last week? Anything else? You want uh, to talk about? No, the D three classic at Waterloo. I tried to get results. I couldn't. Um, I know one of the guys at Waterloo was trying to get them for me. So uh, if you guys get those to us, we could talk about them at some point. So uh, any results you guys have, uh, we'd appreciate it. Um, the only thing I'd say is I think we're going to try to go to that uh, duel with Fitch and Boardman and Maslin and, and Halland. Yeah. And Halland. So hopefully we can go there and tweet out some stuff and interviews and, and results from that. So. Yep, very good. Thank you. Thanks.